Hi, welcome to the 3D Pen Den. In the last video we made a sphere by joining a few simple different size circles. And then we decorated the surface of the resulting ball. However, the linear approach to 3D pen work, what I like to call the drawing approach, is not limited to just the surface of the object. While it is definitely possible to make solid surfaces with 3D pens, that is not where your options end. What I want to talk about today is how you can take this further. Here are the circles we used last time to make the basic ball. And if you need to hear that story, go and watch this video. The link is in the description below. The next logical step is to widen the basic circles into something a bit sturdier and more fun, extending them a bit inside the ball, or proceed to completely fill the circles, each with its own color, and then connect them, possibly in some more fun way, other than the basic connections we used last time. like so, perhaps. Or you can fill the inside of the basic circles with contrasting color and get this. Here are all the previous options. The last one being filled with black. As you can see, the effects are quite different, even with such minor variations. Here is the video covering the journey inside the center of the ball. And the link is, as you would expect, in the related videos in the description. And while there is really no limits to what you can do with the pattern and color inside the ball, The 3D pen also makes it possible to extend outward and enclose the circles in a different shape like simple squares for a starter. At this point you could make a cube with a ball inside Or, you can put a twist into it by rotating each layer by a few degrees. Can you feel the idea snowballing? If you need a detailed instruction for this process, visit with this video. Yes, the link is there with all the others. And of course, you are not limited to spheres. The third dimension gives us a few extra options, which is what makes these 3D pens so much fun. Remember to think outside and inside your shapes too. So even though your first impulse may be to make solid objects, don't limit yourself to just them. You can make balls extending to stars, enclosed within larger shapes and just keep going. And until next time, go and make something.